Hey guys, Jason Timothy, MusicSoftwareTraining.com, and today we're going to go into old and new methods for getting acapellas out of a full track. So we're going to start with the options that we originally had. Basically, if someone asked you if it was possible to unbake a cake, the conventional answer would be, no, that's impossible. You can't return all the ingredients back to their original form after you've baked the cake. Well, that's how it was with trying to extract a vocal from a full song. Uh, there were a couple approaches that you could take, but for the most part, they didn't work all that great most of the time. But let me show you how we used to do it here. So we've got this song here, and let's say we want uh, the vocals from this track. Okay, so for the most part, this would probably be a great track to remix because really it's just vocals and pads through most of the song. So what we would most likely do is just try to isolate the vocals a little bit better with EQ. So what I might do is remove some of the low frequencies. You could do further tweaking, but that's about as good as it gets. Uh, and that's acceptable. I mean, a lot of old school remixes were done just simply like this, or just by removing the low frequencies. You add your own drum parts, your own bass line. You may add a couple layers on top, and then you got your basic remix. So that was kind of the initial approach if you weren't able to get the acapella. Now there's another approach that you're able to take, let me turn this off real quick here, where if you were lucky enough to be able to get an instrumental version of the song and you had the original song, you could get a little bit better isolation from the vocal. And the way that would work, right here I've got the instrumental. And it's not perfect, it's got some little trails of the vocal in there, but, you know, it does what it does. Now, the approach that you would take, and it's a very fine art, because if you mess this up just slightly, uh, you're not going to really get that great of a result. But if you play the instrumental and the original on top of each other at the same time, and you reverse the phase of one of the tracks, in this case, I'm going to reverse the phase of the instrumental. And we could do that with utility over here, right? So you just reverse the phase of the left, reverse the phase of the right. And now, if we take a look at these individual waves, right, we'll see that there's ups and downs throughout. So basically what happens is when this one goes down, this one is actually going up now because the phase is reversed. And when you do that, if it's done perfectly, you end up canceling out the audio, which gives you silence. So in a perfect world, you would get silence where all the music is playing because this is the music. And by reversing the phase, you're removing the music part, but you're leaving the vocal because you're not reversing that part of the song. So essentially what you're doing is you're removing the instrumental from the song 
by reversing the phase of just the instrumental and then what you have left over is the vocal. So if I play these together without reversing the phase, it's just going to make the instrumental louder. Right? And if we reverse the phase, we get something more like this. And once again, here's the four. So that was a pretty good way to get it. But the problem is you're always going to get some sort of artifacts. Well, almost always, because unless you have the exact same timing on both files, it's going to be really difficult to have this consistent throughout the whole track. But sometimes you, you get lucky. And another thing too is this here is a WAV file, this is an MP3, and that actually affects the results as well when you have different fidelity of files for the same track. But anyway, those were the solutions from the past. But now we have AI that almost allows us to unbake the cake, if you will. It's certainly not perfect, but it does some pretty incredible things. So let's take a look at some of the options that we have, all right? So a couple free options here are Lolo AI and uh, Vocal Remover. These are both free. This one is, is probably the easier to use, but I thought I would use two so that we can compare results. And then I have a paid piece of software here that gets much more detailed and kind of works a bit more like Melodyne does. In other words, you could actually even change the pitch and remove different parts of the spectrum to really dial things in. And as you can see down here, it can remove or isolate a different layers, percussion, drums, bass, uh, kick, guitar, voice, whatever it thinks that it hears. And once again, it's not perfect, but uh, it does a pretty good job. So let's see how the paid version and the free version compare to each other. So let me just show you before. So when you go on this original page here, all you've got to do, it's uh, vocalremover.org, and you simply browse the, the file. There it is right there. Now it would just open it up and then it would analyze it. And on this one, same thing, select the file and you could choose between vocal and instrumental. You could isolate drums, bass, guitar. So there's, there's loads of separation that's possible. But we're, we're just uh, going to remove the vocals on this and compare that. So that's the way that works. Since it takes a few minutes, I went ahead and did the analysis first. So let me uh, show you how well this one worked. This is the vocal on Lolol AI. In this moment we walking hand in hand with mine. Careful not to look behind. Knowing everything is fine. So pretty good work there. And then if I wanted to extract this, I would just click free. And as you can see down here, there's options for longer files and uh, multiple files and things like that. But for here, for the free version, you just go process the entire file. You pop in your email and then it'll send you the file, I believe. 
With this one, it's a bit more straightforward. You just uh, drop in the file, and then you could directly download uh, the music or the vocals here. So let's go ahead and turn down the music. We'll turn up the vocals here and see what we got. So this one doesn't sound quite as good to me. It's probably acceptable within the context of a lot of other files and things like that, but... For the most part, you can hear a difference in fidelity. So let's now jump over to the paid version, which is, I use RIP-X. And this takes longer for it to analyze, but I think it does a great job. So I can uh, just solo here the vocal. And let's hear what we got here. In this So far, sounds pretty clean. Let's get into here where there's more drums and stuff that come in. Here, I'll play the whole thing. So, I think my verdict is obviously this one uh, does a better job. And once again, with this, I could come in here and I could actually listen to individual notes here. So if there's something that I don't like, I can remove it, or I could even change the pitch, so. So that's pretty incredible what you can do, and there's a lot more that you can do to enhance. There's a lot of tools that they give you to uh, repair the audio and all that, that sort of stuff. I think this is around $250 for that. Uh, there is a light version that that's only $60. It does a pretty good job as well. So those are the options that you have now with AI technology to rip your songs and try to get a good clean vocal. Once again, it's not a perfect science yet, and I don't know if it'll ever be a perfect science, but it's pretty damn close. And I think it's just gonna continue to get better as time goes on. So if you're looking to remix a song and you don't have the acapella, these are the options that I would uh, look into. Once again, if you're just going the free route, I feel at least with this song, the lalal.ai did a better job. Uh, but once again, the vocal remover is kind of more straightforward. You can directly download uh, from here without giving your email or what have you. So completely up to you. So I hope this gives you some options as a producer, as a remixer, to get more and more creative with your own art.